Hi guys, Cinematic Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American mystery and drama movie, called Knives Out. This movie has an interesting plot twist, so watch it until the end. The movie begins by showing the home of a wealthy mystery novelist, Harlan Thrombe. When his housekeeper, Fran, brings him food, she is shocked to find Harlan dead with his throat slit. One week after Harlan's demise, Harlan's nurse, Marta Cabrera, receives a phone call from Walt Thrombe who is Harlan's youngest son. He calls Marta because the police intend to interrogate all of Harlan's family members and those closest to him about his death. Once there, the police begin to interrogate Harlan's eldest daughter, Linda Drysdale. The team that interrogates them consists of police officer Trooper Wagner, Detective Lieutenant Elliot, and a private detective Benoit Blanc, who was anonymously paid to investigate the case. They continue to interrogate Linda's husband, Richard Drysdale, then Walt. Followed by Joni Thrombe who is the widow of Harlan's deceased son Neil, ending with Meg Thrombe, Joni's daughter. All of them are interrogated in two sessions, the first by Elliot, and the second by Blanc. Elliot's interrogation leads to the chronology of Harlan's presumed death on the night of his 85th birthday party when he invited his entire family to his Massachusetts mansion. However, from the results of his interrogation, Blanc concludes that Harlan's relationship with his various family members were strained. On the day of his death, Harlan threatened to expose Richard for cheating on Linda. This is reinforced by a piece of evidence which Blanc finds after interrogating Marta, who cannot lie without vomiting. As a result, Richard is named first suspect. From Joni's confession, it is known that Harlan cut off her allowance for stealing from him, thus making Joni the second suspect. Furthermore, Harlan also got into an argument with Walt, which ended in Walt's dismissal from his publishing company. This makes Walt the third suspect in this case. Last but not least, the final suspect is Linda and Richard's son, Ransom Drysdale, who also had an altercation with Harlan that night. All of Blanc's allegations are then matched against the chronology previously recorded by Elliot. After the birthday party was over, Marta ushered Harlan up to his room upstairs. Joni, who was meditating in her room, was suddenly startled by a sound from above her room. She then checked on Harlan and apparently, it was just the sound of his go board dropping to the floor. In another room, Richard was fast asleep, while Linda had trouble sleeping. When Marta came home in the middle of the night, Walt was smoking and his son, Jacob, was sitting on the porch. Not long after that, Walt saw Harlan coming down the stairs and then shouted at him to go back to his room. Meanwhile, Ransom was not at the house because he had come home early during the party after an argument with Harlan. This chronology makes the accusations against them all weaken. Therefore, Elliot believes Harlan's death was a suicide. However, the investigation into Marta is still ongoing. She goes into more detail about what happened in Harlan's room after the party. Unbeknownst to Blanc, Marta accidentally mixed up Harlan's medications, making her think that she overdosed him with morphine. She then panicked and looked for the antidote, but she was unable to find it. Due to her negligence, Harlan could only live a few more minutes. When she wanted to call an ambulance, she is surprisingly stopped by Harlan, who said that her efforts would be in vain. Even as Marta insisted on seeking other help, her foot tripped over Harlan's, sending her falling. It's finally revealed that this falling sound was what Joni had heard earlier. Harlan, knowing that Marta's mother is an undocumented immigrant, wanted to save her family from scrutiny by giving her instructions to create a false alibi which could prevent her from being charged with murder. As recorded in Elliot's chronology, Marta came home in the middle of the night in her car. After she got out of the fence, she parked her car in a place hidden from the surveillance cameras. She then ran back into the house and up to Harlan's room via a side trellis, one of which Marta accidentally tampered with. Entering through the trick hall window, Marta grabbed Harlan's robe and cap and put them on as she walked downstairs, revealing that it was Marta who Walt had seen in the previous chronology. Marta then left the house through the side trellis, but Harlan's elderly mother unintentionally saw Marta carrying out Harlan's instructions. Fortunately, she mistook her for ransom due to her weakened memory. Marta finally manages to tell Blanc her version of the chronology without vomiting in front of him, so she is considered to be giving an honest answer. However, she did not tell the story of her negligence in mixing Harlan's medications. Soon, Marta agrees to assist in Blanc's investigation, and she conceals evidence of her actions as they search the property, starting with destroying surveillance camera tapes, messing with her footprints in Harlan's yard, and even throwing the broken trellis which she broke that night. As Marta and Blanc continue their investigation into Harlan's room, they see an annoying ransom comes into the house and is greeted unfriendly by Harlan's dog. 
Prior to the reading of Harlan's will, the whole family gather in the living room and get a new hint from Jacob who had been in the bathroom for a long time that night. The bathroom is next to Harlan's, and Jacob heard Harlan and Ransom arguing. He only heard two things, Harlan spoke of his will, and Ransom's words threatening his grandfather. Ransom finally admits that Harlan was going to cut him out of the will, causing chaos between them all. Meanwhile, Blanc and Marta leave the house and find one of Harlan's dogs suddenly carrying the broken trellis which Marta had thrown away. Therefore, they rush back upstairs to continue their investigation at the trick hall window and find some new traces. When Harlan's will is read, to everyone's shock, Marta is the sole beneficiary. All of Harlan's family members who used to be kind to Marta have now turned to curse her. She is attacked by the entire family until Ransom suddenly comes to help her escape the family's wrath. He takes her to a restaurant, but it turns out that Ransom manipulates her into confessing to him after he knows that Marta cannot lie. In the end, he offers his help in exchange for a share of the inheritance. On the other hand, the other thrombays try to persuade Marta to renounce the inheritance. One day, news of Marta receiving Harlan's inheritance have spread all over the place, so many people gather around her house. Therefore, Marta intends to leave her house through the back door, but is surprised by Walt who threatens to expose her mother's immigration status if she does not want to renounce the inheritance. Surprisingly, she receives a blackmail note with a partial photocopy of Harlan's toxicology report, which she then shows to Ransom. Marta and Ransom drive to the medical examiner's office, but it has burned down. At the same time, she also receives an email proposing a rendezvous with the blackmailer. However, Blanc and the police spot them from afar. After a brief car chase, Ransom is arrested and Blanc explains that Harlan's mother saw Ransom climbing down from Harlan's room the night he died. Marta drives with Blanc to the rendezvous point and asks him to wait for a while in the car. Arriving at the location, Marta finds Fran has been drugged. Fran admits that she has the copy of Harlan's toxicology report, but her condition does not allow her to speak further. Marta then performs CPR and calls an ambulance. At the hospital, she finally confesses to Blanc what really happened that night. Unexpectedly, Blanc also says that Ransom has just informed Elliot the true chronology. Furthermore, Marta decides to tell the family that she caused Harlan's death, which would invalidate the will under the Slayer rule. Back at Harlan's house, Marta finds a copy of the full toxicology report in Fran's cannabis stash. She then gives it to Blanc without reading it herself. While reading it, Blanc sees the report showing a small amount of morphine in Harlan's system. Therefore, he immediately interrupts Marta before she can confess to the family. In another room, Blanc reveals his deductions. On the night of Harlan's birthday party, Ransom learned that his grandfather was leaving all his possessions to Marta, which he cannot accept. Therefore, he left the house before he changed his mind to reach Harlan's room through the trick hall window. While everyone is having party downstairs, he quietly swapped the contents of Harlan's medication vials and stole the antidote so that Marta would kill Harlan and thus become ineligible to claim the inheritance. He was later found by Harlan's mother while escaping through the side trellis. It is also revealed that Marta actually gave Harlan the correct medication, subconsciously recognizing it by its viscosity, indicating that she is a good nurse. She only thought she had poisoned him after reading the label. Furthermore, when Harlan's death was reported as suicide, Ransom anonymously hired Blanc to expose Marta. To smooth out his plans, Ransom returned to Harlan's house while everyone was off to Harlan's funeral. Unexpectedly, Fran saw Ransom tampering with the crime scene and sent him the blackmail note with Harlan's toxicology report, which she obtained from her cousin who works at the medical examiner's offices. After he realized Marta was not responsible for Harlan's death, but Marta still thought she was, he forwarded the blackmail note to Marta and burned down the medical examiner's office to destroy evidence of her innocence. At the rendezvous point, Ransom met Fran and deliberately overdosed Fran with morphine, then emailed Marta about the location. All of these plans were planned with his intention of getting Marta caught with Fran's corpse. After hearing Blanc's analysis, Ransom is still confident because they do not have enough evidence to arrest him. Now the only hope is Fran who is hospitalized. Not long after, Marta gets a call from the hospital telling her about Fran's current condition. She then tells them that Fran has survived and will implicate Ransom. Out of desperation, Ransom eventually admits all of his actions according to Blanc's analysis. He then vows revenge while staring at Marta's face. However, Marta suddenly vomits on him, revealing the lie. Fran was actually dead but Ransom has made all of his confessions, which were also recorded by the police. Enraged, he immediately attacks Marta with a knife from Harlan's collection, which turns out to be a retractable stage knife. 
With Ransom's murder confession recorded and having witnessed his attempted murder of Marta, the police finally arrest him. Blanc also tells Marta he realized early on that she played a part in Harlan's death after seeing a small spot of blood on her shoe. Linda eventually finds a secret note from Harlan about her husband's adultery. As Ransom is taken into custody, Marta watches the entire family from the balcony of her mansion. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.